Okay, so here's what I found metal detecting in the year of 2021. This is most of it. I found a lot of trash stuff that I had to throw away. Um, and then some things I had to just kind of condense. So uh, this is an overview. Uh, I hope you've had as much fun watching these videos as I do making them. I like keeping everything for one month and then showing you what I found. So this is one year, and let's see if I paid for my metal detector this year. Okay, um, let's start right over in this area. So these are the knives that I found this year. Uh, a couple of really good ones, a couple of not as good ones. Uh, this was interesting. It's a couple of brass casings for bullets. When you find something like that, you think, oh, what's hidden in it? Sadly, nothing. But it could have been something. <laughs> so uh, this here is a little Scotty dog made out of lead. Those date back to the 30s. And a bunch of wheat pennies. These are all uh, copper ones here. And these are what the steel ones look like when they've been buried for a long time. Uh, moving on, well... Now, I also found lots of tokens. These aren't all the tokens. These are the ones that I was able to find for the video. Um, little belt buckles. and This is an old, old uh, safety pin. That's what they used to look like. And a bullet holder. I found lots of keys. These are just from last month. But uh, I found pounds of keys, probably. Ounces, for sure. Uh, found fifteen dollars in dimes, two dollars in nickels, forty dollars in quarters. Now here's the funny thing: uh, I kept all my zincans for a whole year. So these are the zinc Lincoln pennies, uh, two and a half, two and a quarter cans uh, left. Each can contains a little over ten dollars, about twelve fifty. So I found about forty dollars in zinc Lincoln pennies, which equals out to roughly the $40 that I found in quarters, which is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, now, that's not counting the copper. I keep it separate. But uh, I found ounces, may maybe a pound of brass. Uh, I found pounds of copper. These cans are full of copper stuff that I found. And it's it's easy four or five pounds uh, this is the lead that I found uh, melted it down into ingots uh, so that's probably uh, probably a pound or two uh, some of my favorite finds I found a gun that's a Webley uh, Webley was the Saturday night spe special of firearm from uh, the mid 1800s uh, up until probably about the mid 1900s. This one was with some of these pennies that I found. Uh, they were dated 1940 up until 50, so I think that was buried in 1950. Uh, this is a Confederate States of America $50 bill. I don't know if that's legit or not. Lots more counterfeit stuff was made than was ever legitimately produced. But I'm actually sending that off to PMG to be graded. And I'll do a release of that. I'll let you know what it was when I hit 500 subscribers. That's my plan. Uh, here's a weird little thing. It's not marked, so I don't think it's silver. But there's a little white stone in there. And if anybody knows what that is, if you could put that in the comments, I would appreciate it. Uh, some silver. Uh, this is an ounce, uh, an ounce and a half. Uh, and then some gold. This is white gold uh, with seven diamonds. And it's uh, 18 carat, I believe. And then this little guy is 10 carat so they, they add up um, all told let's see uh, 40 80 
$95.97. So roughly $100 is what I found. Um, uh, I also found a Buffalo nickel that's value is, uh, probably about $80 if I were to get it graded. It's actually in my penny or my nickel book. Um, the silver, that's probably another 50 bucks. Uh, the gold, that's probably another 200. So we're looking at probably about 350 in value that I found in 2021. Uh, so that's a little short of my goal. I wanted to pay for my new metal detector, but uh, I'm a little over halfway there. That detector cost me about 500. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching my videos. I hope you really enjoyed watching it. Uh, if you, if you got a friend that would like these videos, share it with them. And, uh, as always, feel free to comment below. Uh, I'll let you know what this was, whether it's legit or fake, when I hit 500 subscribers. That, that's my plan. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching, and have a great day.